Irish weather is famous for being changeable. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's cloudy, and sometimes it's raining. That's what happened to me on this one. It went from sunny to cloudy and I had to rub it out halfway through. So follow me on this painting and you'll see what happens. This part of Dublin, Ireland is known for being pedestrian friendly. On Grafton Street, just north of the pedestrian section is this part of the street that takes a curve in front of Trinity College. I want to paint it in gouache, and I'm starting on a page that's primed with a kind of an orange color. And I'm measuring out the size of the buildings using a water-soluble colored pencil. And I need to know where the vanishing points are. That's what that X is. And that curve of the road is what I like. That's where the tracks of the trolley go. In the distance is the Bank of Ireland building, which was once the Parliament building. I want to make sure I get those angles right before I start painting. I'll use watercolor in tubes, but I'll add some white gouache, which makes it opaque. I have white, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, terra rosa, ultramarine blue, and neutral tint. Now, you don't have to paint with a primed surface, not at all, but what it does, that color is insistent. If you use a transparent mixture over it, it'll come through. It's like a pedal note in music. It's always there and you have to deal with it. If you use opaques, you can eliminate it, but that orange will pop through and enliven some of those gray colors, hopefully. I'm putting in some darks on those framing buildings on the left and in the shadows under the columns. Over here on the right. trying to frame off the distant space of light in the middle of the picture, which I like. Another dark that's kind of interesting is the foliage that's reaching out from the plants growing from the iron fence around Trinity College. I'm using a dark green, semi-opaque, with a big flat synthetic brush. Let's try putting in some of that sky color. I mix some blue and some white. I want to take it down a little bit from white because uh, I want those whites in the, uh, in the buildings in the distance to be lighter than the sky as they appear now, with the clouds hovering down over the distance. The sun has come out shining directly on the buildings in the distance there, the Bank of Ireland buildings. So I'm going to paint them in fairly bright white. A bright white note in a picture tends to be attractive and interesting. I'm going to have to change my approach because the light changed. And right now it looks like the sky is going to be cloudy and not any breaks of sun. So I'm going to have to reverse the value relationship between the lit buildings and uh, the sky, make the sky lighter, and then make the buildings just a shade darker. And that means coming in with the damp rag and rubbing off the area I just painted. In fact, I can just smear the whole thing, and maybe I can find my drawing again. Darn, this is a, a big change in the lighting. I, I don't like chasing light effects around, but this one, I think it's gonna stay overcast. Usually when you have an overcast sky, the sky itself is the lightest thing in the, in the picture. Lighter than a white building, for example, with vertical walls. So let's cover over that sky with a 
something closer to white. And I'm painting around the silhouette. Can't really see my drawing that well, but that's okay. I can kind of look at the scene and draw the contour with this brush. And you see how that orange underpainting forces me to paint a little past the edges or else it'll peek through if I only paint up to the edge of the contours. I'm mixing now some darks for the darkest areas of the foliage. It's not totally black, but foliage tends to be darker near the base or the core of the plant. So if these are the big shapes then, the building, the sky, the road, the sidewalk. And these ionic columns, as they curve around, are really interesting to paint. A lot of detail, which I can suggest by dry brushing. Even when you get down to small brushes and small spaces, there's still more detail than you can put in there. These grand buildings were the first purpose-built Houses of Parliament during the late 18th century. These uh, funny tour boats keep going by. Viking splash tours. Everyone wears a Viking helmet. There haven't been too many major incidents with those things. Uh, just last month, though, one of them ran into a taxi and a man was hospitalized. And a couple years ago, uh, a wheel fell off of one of them and it held up traffic. Dublin has a great bus and train system, but one of the most favorite things is the LUAS, the tram or trolley system, the light rail which travels right through this point that I'm painting, and that's why I'm trying to hold my breath to paint the tracks for the Lewis. The word Lewis means speed in Irish. But I'm taking my time to paint these rails or else they'll look wacky. While I've got that color on the brush, I can paint, or at least indicate, the buildings on the far side of the street, some of the older ones, which have that ionic column structure behind all that scaffolding and all the cables and wires. Again, with a steady hand as much as I can, here's the cable going across the street to hold up the electrical line to power the uh, light rail. It's not that small of a brush, but with the tip of it, I can get a small detail if I need to. Well, the light has swung around quite a bit uh, over the two hours we've been here. And uh, it's come and gone, direct sun, and I'm kind of sticking with the overcast effect. So I'm going to have to finish it up pretty soon here. Uh, and there's a million details I could put in, but I'm going to have to draw the line somewhere. And as a final touch, I can put in a little Carbothello pastel, some white pastel in the sky. Will, if I rub it in with my finger, it'll smear over and kind of give a slight flare from the light from the sky. And here's the final painting. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.